Now that's cool. You guys been dating? How long you guys been dating for? Two years. Two years. Two years. It's a good time. And how'd you guys meet? Uh, at my store. At your store? Yeah. Aren't we all intrigued? <laughs> oh, what does he do? <laughs> um, <laughs> is he the boss? Did she work at the store? <laughs> You done this before? <laughs> so as you can see, sir, we have a lot of questions. So wh where do we start? You know, what, what's the story, sir? Uh, used to be a game store. Used to be a game store. Used to be a game store. Hold on a second. What? So what is it now? Uh, it was three years ago, so I don't have that story anymore. Oh. The store has gotten liquidated. <laughs> it's out of business. <laughs> but not me and this girl, we getting the business. <laughs> okay, so you guys met at the store. Were you working at the store? Or? Uh, no, actually, she, she was a patron. Yeah. Patron? Hell yeah, she supported that local business. <laughs> oh yeah, she did. All right. What, what was the name of the store? Uh, Thunderdome Games. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I don't want to play no more games I'm going to be taking you home Let me see if you can give me some of that good thunder dome I'm working on a safe sex advice column for, for Christian teenagers Yeah, yeah It's called Just the Tips you guys I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here I'm celebrating I just graduated from college yeah Woo. yeah thank you thank you okay all right yeah the best thing about that is like I'm a man now you know yeah like I don't have to call my parents to ask them for money you know yeah cuz now I live with them um, so like I could just knock I'm like dad wake up the pizza guy needs his tip you know it's crazy it's crazy but Give it up for him, he dropped me off, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I've like, I've lived at home long enough to like, to be able to predict like when my parents are gonna have sex, you know? Yeah, to avoid it. Like, you know how you can predict a tsunami is gonna come? Like, cause the waves are really far out. Uh, I can predict when my parents are gonna have sex cause my dad will walk into my room with just a bottle of wine and he'd be like, JR, go to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, I'm not even tired. It's like, trust me, I'll go to sleep. I'm like, Dad, get out of here, put some pants on, you know? And uh, there's one more stereotype that I grew up with that I also didn't like that I want to dispel right here, and you guys probably know it already. Said our penises aren't small. That's, that's not the joke yet, but uh, that's fine, that's fine. Our penises aren't small. Said it's just like our eyes. Cause when you warm it up, it doubles twice its size. Yeah. Uh, yes, hell yeah. That's for that rice cooker love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it doesn't matter how much rice you put in that cup, like one cup, two cups, right? It always fills you up. What's, what's your name, sir? Nathan. Somebody in the back just answered. She's like, my name's Jake. So this ain't about you right now, okay? We're focusing on Nathan, Jake. You know what? Just for that, fuck all you motherfuckers named Jake tonight. It's not about you, it's about her, it's her birthday. <laughs> Alright, Nathan, um. Right here. Right here. You know what? This about Nathan right now. I'm not gonna play music till you shut the fuck up. Hey. <laughs> And I just instantly go back to playing music. Nathan, um, and, and what's your name? Anna. Anna. Nathan and Anna, how did you guys meet? Church. Oh, nothing sexier than having Jesus involved. <laughs> um, you, 
know the Holy Spirit's getting up in there tonight. <laughs> oh, are you, guys, are you guys married? Oh, it's even better because you don't have to wait. <laughs> oh, you can consecrate tonight, yeah. In holy matrimony, if you're feeling holy, you can get up in holy matrimony. <laughs> Bless you guys. <laughs> and tip your weight staff tonight because everything you give to them, it goes to the good Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, of Latter day Saints. So, you know, and witness, but I don't know all of them. Back performing in the Philippines, in Malaysia, and Indonesia uh, on my third world tour. And um, thank you very much. Yeah. And it was my first tour, but only in the third world. <laughs> and what we were doing, uh, it really made a difference. Like we were teaching English to Indonesian students. And we learned that English isn't even the most spoken language in the world. It's Chinese. Because there's two billion Chinese people in the world. <laughs> Which makes the second most spoken language in the world, English? <laughs> you guys, oh. That's such a stupid joke. But it always makes me laugh out loud. <laughs> you too, huh? Yeah. You guys are just hanging and vibing with the music. You guys feeling good? Woo! Feeling good? Hell yeah, sir. Hell yeah, dog. Are you guys in a relationship too? No? You guys are dressed exactly the same. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys are dressed. You guys are. What? You guys are either dating or like you guys work for Adidas. <laughs> right? Like, like, like it's either you had anal or like you're the spokespeople for Adidas. What's the what's the story here? Uh, oh, oh! Wow! This is gonna be a good night, man. Wow. Are you having fun? Did you hear what she just said? Oh, anal and Adidas. <laughs> We just need a third A, and it's gonna be a great night. Um, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so interested. So, how long have you guys been together that you dress the same? <laughs> like that is love. Oh shit! Are you guys married? That's like this is like worse than a wedding ring. You know? <laughs> no, that's tight though. That's tight, dude. That's tight. You're in love, bro. Because when your guys see, like your guy friends see you, they probably give you shit. No, they're cool with it. That's me being toxic masculine or whatever it's called, you know? No, that's beautiful. Give it up for them. That's tight. Um, girl, you don't even have to have my last name. You don't know a way to get there because we dress the same. <laughs> What if I just did that the whole fucking night? <laughs> Talking to me, no shit. But no, that's awesome. So why do you guys dress the same? I'm really interested. Like Adidas? You like Adidas? And he just loves you. Aww. Yeah, your story sucks now. You don't even dress the same. You know what I mean? <laughs> I should do a joke. I should do a joke. I'll do a song. I'll do a song. What's, what's your guys' names? I'll dedicate something to you at the end. Gino. Gino? Caitlin. And Caitlin. Guys, give it up to them. Woo! How long have you guys been together? <laughs> I know, but like dating is. Like, how long have you guys been together? It's one month? It's one month. <laughs> Damn! Sorry. This is all a surprise to me. I have never dressed the same as a girl after one month, but I mean, that's not a bad thing, bro. Hell yeah. Wait, you guys haven't had sex yet, huh? You haven't? Bro, you don't have to do this. <laughs> no, that's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah. All right. I want to do something special right here for y'all. Here you go.
By the way, I'm not Chinese, I'm Filipino. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, just in case anybody here is, uh, is racist, okay. Some of you are like, I thought he was Chinese this whole time. But I love being Filipino. I saw this commercial when we moved here, I saw this commercial and I learned that being Filipino, that I can feed myself for only 63 cents a day. It's like, what? <laughs> no? Are you guys still paying full price? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Just say you're Filipino, try it. And it's cool, man. I'm, I'm not a man's man. I do a lot of musical comedy. I'm not a man's man. My best friend, he's a man's man, you know? By which I mean he has a very possessive gay husband. Yeah. And you guys, I'm not gay, but like every time I see a black guy with light eyes, like I forget my own name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, me too. Oh no, I see both of them up here. I see both of them up here. Why do you think I'm looking in the back? <laughs> trying to just keep it up here. Keep strumming. I always forget my name. I'm like, yo, what's your name? He's like, it's Chris. Like, what's yours? I'm like, um, Chris? I don't know, man. Just blink. You're making my knees weak. <laughs> I was crossing the street. Um, I saw this black guy with light eyes and, and I did a little double take. I was like, oh, shoot. And, and he was with this girl. And his girl saw me do a little double take and she looked at me, she was like, excuse me. I was like, bitch, I'm not looking at you. You know? Yeah. <laughs> a Chinese guy on a bike, a Korean guy on a bike. These are two things that look exactly alike. Uh, yeah, you guys feeling that now? Yeah, that's the racism leaving your bodies. Oh, that feels good. Oh, it's therapeutic. Uh, don't hold on to it, all right? Let it go. Yeah, that's how Trump got elected. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, is that too soon? <laughs> yeah, no, it's too late. All right. Oh, yeah. oh wow. And this is a true story about me coming to America. Uh, my family and I, when we first moved here, we lived in a storage unit for two weeks. Yeah, that's a true story. It's just, it's just, that's what happened. And I feel like that would have been like the most awesome episode of Storage Wars. <laughs> like, <laughs> like they just open it up and there's a Filipino family inside. <laughs> On the outside, there's a dude with a trucker hat. He's like, I want that. <laughs> I don't want those baseball cards. I want that smooth skin family. And uh, you know what? Like I said, I, 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 it's not wrong in every situation to show your dick, you know? It's a very natural thing to do sometimes. But we need like a specific place and situation where it's not okay to show your dick. So let me hear one from the crowd, any, any topic. Funeral. At a funeral. All right, here we go, I got something. Uh, I went to a funeral. I'm sorry for your loss, Zach. But put your dick away. That won't bring your dad back. Oh, yes. yes. We miss him. But we're sorry for your loss. Everybody, one more time, let me hear you. We said, don't show your dick. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, we vibing tonight. We feeling them. Yeah, and, and oh, we got an Asian couple in the front. It's going to be a good night. Hell yeah. Did you guys know I was going to be here? Did they see you there? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to answer the question. It's rhetorical. Are you guys uh, uh, dating, married? What's your story? Engaged. Ooh. Congratulations. It's exciting. If you make it. But, you know, there's still some time. Engaged means, you know what I mean? This is going to be a crazy show, sir. You might be dating this, this foursome over there by the end of the night. You know, there's, there's no plexiglass separating you two over there, so who knows? Got a wandering eye. Um, how about uh, any topic that you guys want to hear about? I'll, I'll jam. Let's, let's get some 
something tonight, no pressure. Who <laughs> he said love. Uh, love through the plexiglass. Mm. Oh, I've been looking at this sky. I mean, girl. Oh, let me start over. This guy's got a really nice mustache. You guys can't see it in the back. It's making me feel all kinds of things. You know? It's not too thick, not too thin. That's how I like those mustaches. Mm. 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 Ooh, I got my girl to my left. Soon she's gonna be my bride. You know that she loves to go on an Asian mustache ride. <laughs> Midnight Orient Express tonight, baby. <laughs> Wherever you want to go, we go in there. No stopping. Going straight to love. I don't even think that was your topic, sir, but it, it kind of worked, you know? All right. What's your name, sir? Calm. Carl. Carl? Like Calm. 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 Okay. You know, I thought it was Calm, and I thought my racist part of my brain. <laughs> I was like... I was like, I thought I heard Kong, but I'm pretty sure it was Carl. And my, the racist part of my brain is like, I'm gonna call him Kong. I think he said Kong, Kong Lee. No, that's, that's my bad with the mustache. I mean, you look, I got distracted. Uh,